Let's start it up, Sadie. Get our house cooled off. First start since last year. Took right off. I haven't done the spring cleaning yet. See the leaves down in there. But I did kind of give it a, like a what I call a car wash the other day when I was washing the car. I brought the stuff over here and washed it with the wash mitt. So got the outside looking better. Anyway, now we can be cool. I don't usually turn it on this early, but I got Sadie staying with me, and she's used to. 72 and below. She's used to a really cool house, so we can accommodate her for one weekend for sure. Hmm. You know, I'm getting I've been getting worried about this old system being low in charge because the coil is 20 years old and I've lost the BA coil start leaking about 19 or 20 years. And I think it might be a little low in charge this year because it's not sweating back very cold and this is that compressor, it's making a funny noise. It's not normal. So I'm, I'm gonna, I've got the test those out here. I'm going to put them on it and just see what the pressure is. Something just told me to check it this year when I turned it on because it's uh, 20 years old and those coals usually start leaking about 20 years. So yeah, we should have about 12, 12 to 15 degrees super heat based on my super cool slide rule here. So we're definitely low on charge. This, is, this line is kind of cool, but it's 9.4, it's going to be a lot colder than that. But anyway, it'll do till I can either charge it up or put the new ream in. I've actually, actually, <laughs> it's kind of funny, I drug this out this spring to make room in my garage, the new RARL ream, because I didn't have a place to, I was running out of place to store stuff around here, but here it is, ready to go. Smooth operator. Ream Prestige Series. Well, it's Ream Changeout time. Old Reliable is going to the storage. Might serve somebody else someday, but for right now, I'm going to the right size unit for my house. I just pumped it down, cut the copper loose, got it all sealed up. The electrical and thermostat wiring done. Now I just gotta move it out of the way. Sadie's my helper today. She's been helping. Anyway, I'm going to try to drag it right over here. Just sit it right there for the time being until I can get it moved out to the garage or find a use for it, one of the two.
the board went to zero. Smooth. In high stage, big C. Oh, it's making condensation for its first run. Of course, I had to I actually had to open the windows and doors a little bit to get it where it would run. The house was too cool for testing, but it's already filling up the Ream River out here. Can finally take out the 6000 BTU GE window unit. That's faithfully served me though for over a month. It's all I really needed. Of course I have one in the kitchen as well, but I can take them out now, so that's what I'm fixing to do. I'm enjoying it too. I got it on 72, it's not even running. But I am so happy to finally have two stage heat and two stage cool. It's amazing. I've wanted it for so long. And I even have my media filter. I have the Honeywell media filter cabinet now. I don't have to struggle and fight to put it up under the return platform there. Closet's all painted. One thing I don't like is this old central vacuum piping, but I'm going to try to find an offset to fix that where it'll be up against the wall like that instead of like that. But that's something I can do anytime. This little one in the kitchen was my second stage. Hardly ever had to have both of them, but just for a little while every day, maybe. Anyway, let me get these out of the window and resume normal life with a two-stage ream.